hello. So today, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to get uh, sabers, or cu custom sabers, blocks, and walls, all on Beat Saber. But the thing is, I'm going to be doing this all from the headset. No PC needed, nothing like that. Well, maybe, but I mean. Well, let's just get into it. So, the first step is gonna be, well, um, you're gonna need to have the cosmetics, the cosmetics mod on beat, installed on Beat Saber, which is the mod that lets you download these sabers, walls, and blocks, and things like that. So, um, once you have that installed, you can come back to this video, and, um, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to go ahead and head to the browser. Alright, so once you're in the browser, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search. And you just want to go, you just want to have to go to Discord. So you want to type in Discord.gg. And then enter. So, it should say, um, up here, it should say log in. But I already logged in and have done this, so I'm just, uh. I just have to click this button that says open discord and then mine will open another thing to note if you do have like a discord app installed on your installed if you do have a discord app installed in your request you can use that but i'm just not using it for the sake of this video since there's a glitch where i have to like restart my headset and stuff and it's like i'm not going to deal with that so i'm using the browser so you're going to want to open discord so, you should have Discord open now. What you want to do on the side, you're you're gonna want to go to the Cosmetics Discord, and um, you're gonna have to if, if you're not already joined, then you're gonna want to make sure that you are joined in the Cosmetics Discord. So, you're gonna want to go to the Cosmetics Discord, and you just want to find whatever saber block or whatever you want. Just go down here to uh. You should be able to go down to finished models and then look for Q sabers, Q blocks, Q walls, all of that stuff, and then just go download something. So let's say, for example, I want to download these sabers. They look pretty cool, in my opinion. So um, let's go ahead and download that. So what you want to do is you want to go to this little file down here that they put at the bottom. This will be the download file that you're going to need. So you want to click on the little icon. Or the name, I guess. And then it should say right here that it's downloading. And it'll say download complete. And then um, now you just need to head to the uh, BNBF download page. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to maybe load up SideQuest if you um, have that. And you're going to need to plug in your headset and find that, that uh, local Wi-Fi IP that shows up on SideQuest. So, once you find that IP that you use, if you've seen tutorials before and stuff, you'll know that you just have to type in that IP, colon, 50,000, and then it should bring you to a BMBF upload page. So, I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, so, uh, now I'm in the upload, now I'm in the upload page. Uh, one thing, um... What I had to do is it kept saying that it couldn't load the page. If this is happening for you, what you want to do is you want to go to your apps, go to TV, go to channels, and then you want to open BMBF. Once you have that open, go back to the browser, and it should, and it should be able to load that time. So what you want to do is you want to click on the upload files box here. Once you do that, it should show a bunch of like images and stuff. These are just from like maps that you've downloaded and things. What you want to do, you want to click on this little drop-down arrow next to media. Then go down to downloads. Then here you should see your sabers, blocks, or whatever you downloaded. In this case, I downloaded this one. These are a couple other ones that I downloaded before. So I just click on that. And then it'll show you just stuff over there. You can look at the date or anything just to make sure it's the right one. Then click select. Also, if you see this little red X in the bottom, that's because, well, um, I mean, it doesn't, it's not really detecting BMBF or whatever. 
So I just have to go back and open it, and then maybe it will detect it this time. So now you can see, I had to click on this and to reconnect it. Now what I have to do, go and click on the thing, because it didn't work the first time, so I have to go and do this again. Click it, select, just like before, and then it should upload. Um, it, it, it should upload. Alright, so once you're able to get it in, it should show a little green box in the bottom right that says file copied or whatever, and it's done. Now you just need to click sync to Beat Saber. There you go. Now um, everything is synced. So uh, let's head into Beat Saber and uh, we'll see those sabers there. Now that you're in BMBF, you just want to click start Beat Saber and your sh sabers should be there. Can't speak. Now that you're loaded into Beat Saber, and you should be able to go to your normal uh, cosmetics tab up here, go to sabers or blocks or whatever you downloaded, and you should find the sabers that you got right there. Ow, I just hit something. So, you can see these sabers, they actually do look pretty cool. So, I think I'll use them and I'll test them out. So, um, I'm very short because I'm sitting down. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to hit something. Yeah, that's right there. So, yeah, now you can see these sabers work on perfectly in-game. And, um, you were able to download them without leaving the headset. Other than the side quest thing, this works. So, um, happy finding sabers without leaving the headset. That's what they say, right? Yeah, I should stand up. Okay, um, I'm ending, I'm ending the video. Bye, everybody.